We're Evan and Melanie, and last week we loaded up our van, our dog Penelope, and our tent and hopped on a 40-hour ferry headed northbound to Ketchikan, Alaska. This small island with no roads in or out is not the easiest place to get to, but we quickly fell in love with everything about Ketchikan. Maybe it was the constant whale sightings, or the beautiful weather even on rainy days, or the locals who treat you like family. We can't wait to show you around so you can see just what we mean. Those are recipes for potential disaster. We conquered Deer Mountain. Alaska is living up and beyond to the hype. Is that true, Nelly? Oh, yes. Penelope is having the time of her life. So we didn't see whales, or we saw a few orcas, but we didn't see any, uh, any big whales on our cruise. We come to Ketchikan, and first day, we see these giants. I mean, these guys are massive. And we've never seen whales this big, or this close, or anything. They're unbelievable. Rule number one, always keep your eyes on the water, so I'm not gonna be looking at the camera. Um, we just saw three whales and uh, they were as close to the shore as they possibly could be for us to see them. And they all came up, their noses up, and it was, it was insane. We both were like, oh my god! <laughs> um, so, welcome to Alaska. <laughs> sunrise about 7 a.m. <laughs> um, to the sound of whales they weren't like yelling or anything but it was so calm you could hear them blowing blowing <laughs> spouting <laughs> anyway welcome to Alaska yet again I think that's gonna be our motto here because they were we were parked right against the shoreline and they were as close to the shoreline as their bodies could possibly get and that's how they woke us up we were completely asleep and then Evan heard the faint sound uh now we're drinking our smoothie we went further down the road uh from where they were kind of traveling we can see them a little off in the distance it went further out into the water but they always make their way back to the shore so we're tracking them today we're whale, whale spotters. First hike in Alaska, we're gonna go to Lower Silver Slate. We might make it to Upper Silver Slate. We'll see how it goes. Yeah. 
weekend so far. It has been a beautiful one. We came up to Silva Lake, <laughs> the lower lake and the upper lake. Actually, this is the upper lake. Um, and as you can see, the views are incredible. We are one full day into being in Alaska and so far we've seen things that are like bucket list. Never seen before. Never seen before. Woke up to whales. Um, saw a lake for the first time. <laughs> now we need to go be bear aware. <laughs> Here we are, another day in Alaska, cruising along, just checking out another trail. This is the Lunch Falls Creek Trail, uh -huh. Lunch Falls Creek Trail. And I'm always amazed by the amount of like trail work they have on these hikes. Like they have steps, they always have all these things. Yeah, most of the hikes we do like an hour outside of a major city it has no work. We're bushwhacking our way through the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just shocked to be in somewhere where I consider remote. Yeah. But um, they, they put a lot of work into the trails. And they're updating them right now. There's like a little section that was closed. True that. Who would have thought? Don't know what this leaf is. Fiddle, fiddle leaf? I don't know, but look. <laughs> Look at how big it is. It's at least the entire length of my arm. Look at that. Wow. Happy Melanie. drying off on wood um Nelly stop okay so today we decided to venture further inland on the island uh down a dirt road that I saw on the map I saw that it dead ended at a lake so that's where we went and this is where we are now Evan is freaking out behind the camera because there's bugs they're fine if you keep moving but not if you just stand still <laughs> so here we are. What I'm doing, stand still. <laughs> cruise around the town today, um, pop into some stores, maybe go talk to the visitor center and see what kind of little tips they can give us. Maybe book some Oh yeah, tours? ideally we're gonna book a, yeah, we're gonna book a tour, maybe a, a float plane. A plane. A <laughs> Out to the plane? Misty, a, no, they call it float planes oh. too. Out to the Misty Pajores. Oh. <laughs> Nicknamed the salmon capital of the world and Alaska's first city, Ketchikan is a small island of only 14,000 people. It has the world's largest collection of totem poles and a rich history of Alaska natives. The only way in or out is by boat or plane, which makes this small island feel even more remote. 
We loved exploring every beach we could, each one having new wildlife sightings and incredible views. Ketchikan really became one of our favorite places so far. Max? Yeah. <laughs> All right, just- Can uh, you see us? <laughs> just another day in Alaska. Um, what, what, did, friends, what did you see today? Our friends that we met suggested we come to a little pool out where there's a lot of bear activity and they gave us the tip that they come at low tide. So we came out here and we saw one mama bear with two cubs oh, and then cool. we saw another mama bear with two cubs and then they were both in the same frame and then while we're seeing how many bears is that six <laughs> bears there's like 15 eagles flying around <laughs> i counted there were at least 15. We're gonna go see if we can spot some whales to end the day. Haven't haven't been as successful. Um, With wh the whales. whales are a little elusive. This is kind of what we've been doing <laughs> in Ketchikan. We've become obsessed with wildlife in Ketchikan. What'd you ask? <laughs> I said, how do I turn the windshield wipers off on this van? Listen, we don't encounter rain that often. Oh, <laughs> that's what it is. That's what it is. I usually encounter snow. Remember? Oh. Wait, where do we want to go? We didn't spot whales that night or the next morning, but we did run into a local seal that came by and said hello. Hello. With the clouds clearing for the day, we headed across the island for a quick hike. We're doing a last minute impromptu sunset hike up a little bit of this uh, mountain, what is it called? 
Brown Mountain. Brown Mountain. We're doing Dude Mountain. Ideally, we would have started an hour ago, <laughs> but again, oh well. impromptu. Yeah, we might do the rest of it tomorrow morning. We're just gonna hike up it and see where we get. ended and it turned into a sloppy muddy mess and if it wasn't muddy it was snowy <laughs> so and the sun started to set so we decided to turn around and uh, enjoy the sunset on our way down it was beautiful though the sloppy the snowy would have been fun if we were just a little bit earlier if it was a little less buggy we're just complaining now though really it was amazing it was wait this is the one we both shouldn't be on a few of these boards are a little uh, questionable. <laughs> it's like trampolines, yeah. If there's one thing you must do in Ketchikan, it's to go flight seeing over the misty fjords. We went with Island Air Wings, who took us on an afternoon flight over some of the most beautiful scenery in this 2.3 million acre national monument. Made up of sea cliffs, steep fjords, and rock walls that jut 3,000 feet straight out of the ocean. The clear day meant we could see snow-capped mountains for miles on end with perfectly blue water below. And even after seeing the cliffs in person, it's hard to comprehend just how massive they really are. barely made it through but Woo! just at the end the end when we were turning i i was so preoccupied with like leaving penelope getting ready to go out parking the shade because it's really hot that i didn't eat enough i didn't take dramamine i didn't bring water those are recipes for potential disaster i should have known better because i get car sick hello hello okay i wanted to say it was gorgeous up there like the kind of stuff that you see in other people's videos which you'll now be seeing in our video <laughs> it was amazing we saw mountain goats we we landed yeah. down in water i don't know if we, we got any video of the mountain goats no but we saw them <laughs> evan oh. has to pee really bad behind the camera that's why the camera is shaking all right now our lakeside 
how the how's that meal coming? We're gonna have it's really hot, but we had some rice we needed to eat, so we're gonna have tamales with rice and Brussels sprouts and drizzle of salsa on top and hope we don't melt. Thanks for making it for me. I fell asleep while it was all cooking. What is that thing doing? That little thing? Being a good girl. We had to leave her in the car while we were out flying. And I think she behaved. <laughs> we have no clue. <laughs> there wasn't a sign on our window that said this dog's crazy. So that's good. Here we go. Oh wow, thank you. This looks delicious. We're just having a quick lunch at uh, 5 o'clock. That's lunchtime here because it sun doesn't set till 10. <laughs> but we woke up early today, aka 8.30. Finishing up another day here and catch me if you can. <laughs> catch a <you> can. <laughs> um, another beautiful sunset. Yes. We've been blessed by uh, not no rain for the last couple of days. <laughs> they they get like uh, 12 and a half feet of rain a year. Uh huh. Anymore. But it's been beautiful. Today was hot. Tomorrow is even hotter. Like. 80 degrees but the sun out here is strong so we're gonna do a fun hike in the morning and then i'm gonna try and convince evan to get in the water with me oh hell no oh watch out for the bears Alrighty, today we're gonna go and do a deer mountain getting a slightly later start than anticipated it's a warm one here in ketchikan today so Record highs, Record probably. Highs. The sunscreen is on, the bug spray is packed, we've got all the gear, let's roll. Uh, welcome to the Alaskan sauna. Yes, one thing they don't tell you about Ketchikan, I don't know about the other cities yet, is that it's humid. That's because it's a rainforest, obviously. But we did plan for it to be chilly here. We even bought like thermal or fleece lined pants. As you can see, we're not in those fleece lined pants. We're sweating. We're sweating. Um, we're at one mile and 1500 feet into this six and a half mile round trip hike. All right, I'm literally dripping sweat. So let's keep moving. Conquered Deer Mountain. We made it to the top. We tested out our micro spikes for the very first time. We've never ever used micro spikes before. I'm glad we brought them. And I think we might be the first ones up here of this summer season. Not true. No, Evan doesn't think it's true, but I didn't see any footprints in the snow. Um, we might see some mountain goats. I saw some evidence and we have endless Alaska mountains. <laughs> 
Okay, now that you've fully recovered from that hike, <laughs> let me know how you were feeling at the bottom. Um, I hate to like always complain, but uh, there were a lot of steps and rocks that were very jagged and then there was mud and slippery rock. <laughs> kind of took a toll on my legs. <laughs> um, and I'm already a pretty bad downhill hiker. So it took me a second, but I made it. And now we are at a lake, one of the several lakes out here in Ketchikan. Um, it's a warm, warm day. So we're gonna go jump in the lake and hopefully I'm gonna convince Evan to get in with me and mm. Penelope. First and foremost though, Evan needs some food in his belly. So we're where, gonna do- Where's a lot of people? I ate a bunch of protein bars. I finally convinced Evan to go down to the water with me. The sun is, uh leaving pretty quickly. <laughs> Still warm. So, let's go take a look. But uh, Penelope and I went for a nice swim and the water was actually perfect considering we're in Alaska. <laughs> but it's 80 degrees outside so it's wonderful. Now we need to go uh, freshen up. Yeah, I'm going to take a shower. I didn't want to get my oh, yeah, more now... fresh water, <laughs> nasty lake water on me before I shower. Evan's going to take a, go take a real shower. I'm going to rinse off the lake water. And we're gonna get a good night's rest because tomorrow we have another big day. What? Oh, we're gonna go on an, our next ferry to Juno. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss next week's video when we will be in Juno exploring their glaciers, their, whoa, stinky <laughs> farts from our dog. Oh my God. <laughs> That's so, so bad. I told you earlier that they were really bad. So make sure to... Hmm. Wait, no, you nailed it. Good job. <laughs> Found it.